Section 3. Crimping Copper and Aluminium. All these tools are designed to crimp copper lugs and links. The small tools have limitations with regard to their range, but this hydraulic crimper, HT131-C, will crimp from 6mm squared to 300mm. Hydraulic crimp tools and dies are also available up to 1000mm squared. The KO6 is a low-cost hexagonal rotating die crimper that will crimp from 6mm squared up to 120mm squared. However, because the die face is only 6mm wide, a series of three crimps must be done to obtain the correct compaction. Correct compaction, or cold weld, is vitally important to avoid overheating and possible joint failure. The first crimp must be placed at the palm end of the lug, working towards the end of the barrel. As it is crimped, it lengthens, and this is called cold flow. This is not the case when using a standard width die in the B131C or the equivalent on a lug requiring only one crimp. Here the die is centered on the lug barrel. In this example, we're using the KBAC B131C on 240mm squared cable with a 240mm squared lug and a 240mm squared copper die. This dissected fitting shows how in the crimping process all the air voids have been removed to form one mass of material. This fitting has been acid etched to remove swarf from the process of cutting. If the swarf was not removed, it would fill the holes and give you a false indication of how good the crimp is. Close inspection will reveal that every single strand is compressed into a hexagonal shape. This crimp is overcrimped. This is called winging or flashing, and the most common cause of this problem is by use of a die too small. In this case, the die was too large. In both these instances, overheating can occur, leading to termination failure. This can be catastrophic, as most electrical fires are caused by faulty terminations such as these. The correct crimp should have crisp edges on each of the hexagonal interfaces. This copper lug has been crimped correctly. The only way of checking this is using the vernier caliper to measure across the flats of the hexagonal crimp. This is commonly known as AF. Check the KBAC catalogue for all the correct AF sizes. Just a reminder once again that copper and aluminium are different. If the correct cable, lug, tool and die is used and the AF measurement does not comply, then there is a good chance that your hydraulic tool needs servicing. In KBAC's NATA certified heat cycle laboratory, all fittings are tested to ensure that all copper and aluminium connectors can perform to the highest standards. Heat cycling mirrors real life expectations of connectors and results are fully documented, so you can be assured when buying KBAC products, you are buying quality. All of KBAC's copper connectors are made from 99.9% .9 oxygen free copper giving the best electrical properties available and are tin plated to provide long lasting corrosion resistance. By using this material, KBAC lugs are capable of withstanding continuous operating temperatures of 155 degrees Celsius. KBAC would like to thank you for your attention.